All right, now on to how do you actually configure on-site registration. So typically, uh, the first thing that you would want to do is go into Manage. And under Manage, you go into your clusters. And under clusters, you have any available scan projects that you might have worked on previously. I will uh, just inherit the default project name, but we will make a new name so or a new project. So I'll duplicate the default project and give it a new name. We'll call it train training one. I am using an underscore uh, just to be safe. If you use spaces, it will work, but it uh, might have a problem later on when you're uh, exporting into a third party software. So I'm using an underscore or a dash or no space at all, but uh, we'll give the project a name. It doesn't live inside any other project. So I don't have a no, I don't have a parent project associated with this thing. I don't have a customer name. If you have it, you can always put it in. This is all going to go into the metadata of the actual scan uh, file and the individual scans that you're about to take. Um, file base name, I like to uh, make this a little bit logical. And if my project is small enough to encompass only one project or one, one room or one um, floor, for example, and it happens to be the project name, I'll actually rename it here too. So we will do this. We will call this training one. Hit OK. That way I know that this project is associated with the same scans. Initial scan number, I like to start with scan number one. And that's it. I'm usually not concerned about my latitude, longitude, and not the additional information unless you know better. All right. So now that we've selected our project under Manage Clusters, uh, you can see that it's actually highlighted in blue. Blue means it's active. If you want to verify that it's really active, you go back to the home screen and under the home screen, you will see that it'll say project and cluster one over here. Now, the next thing that you want to do is if you're going to do on-site registration, there's a little uh, pull tab on the left over here that enables the scan mode to uh, represent the on-site registration. On-site registration also changes the icon at the bottom over here. In single scan mode, it just says scans. In multi-scan mode, meaning uh, on-site registration mo mode, this will be where the map of your project will be presented. So uh, we have map at the bottom over here. But what we need to do now, besides just going into every one of these uh, settings, if you're just going into on-site registration, verify that you have the right settings here. So we'll go into the on-site registration and allow the scanner to uh, give your computer a command meaning it'll tell it what to do with the data that it captured. So right now, by default, it says no registration is going to be done, which is wrong because I'm trying to do on-site registration. If I'm inside, I 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm going to do the top view base registration. Cloud to cloud will not work without top view base. So this is irrelevant. Um, this one is useful, but if uh, top view based fails, then cloud to cloud is unnecessary to actually run it afterwards. So typically I just go with this. If you're using targets, this will work too, but um, there's a reason why not to actually do it with the on-site registration, but we will cover that some other time. But top view based inside is perfect. Um, you can also specify how many scans you want the algorithm to analyze as far as um, uh, history. And historically, will it connect only to the previous scan or to the last five scans or to the last 10, 20? It's just going to make uh, that registration a little bit faster if you clip the wings essentially uh, to this, this algorithm by limiting the number of scans. But we will leave it, say, all scans for now. Again, for massive projects, you may want to actually just do maybe the last 10 scans or maybe even the last five scans. The last scan is not a very good choice because there might be other scans that uh, might be more relevant to your uh, current scan. But um, right now, we'll just leave it at all scans. There's nothing else. All these IP addresses and ports at the bottom stay put. And if you want to uh, save some time in the office afterwards, you may want to hit the button that says processing, enable this, because this will allow you to find your spheres. Not that I'm using any and because we're doing top view based registration, I'm not going to use it, but you can tell it to um, batch process these things for you as you go. So 
uh, I'm not checking this, I'm not using checkerboards, I'm not using markers, I'm not using planes. I uh, also um, typically do not like to colorize my scans. I want to do this manually afterwards, so I don't want the program to colorize it ahead of time. So we'll, uh, I usually do uh, disable the colorization over here, and I want to build my scan point cloud so that they're ready for um, filtering and clipping boxes and everything. Okay, so this is preset properly so if i hit home now i know i have still i'm in the right uh, project i already have my on-site registration set up properly the only thing that's missing is i have to set up uh, my profiles that i'm trying to actually use for collecting the necessary data so go in here and uh, it's a small room that i'm uh, going to start in so i don't need uh, a lot of range but we'll pick the indoor up to 10 meter profile and then now hit home. If you click the drop down, you see that uh, that change was made right here. And uh, based on the amount of space that you have on the SD card, you can see that it will take 129 scans to actually uh, fill up that card. And the scan will take four minutes and eight seconds. So uh, with everything said and done, all you have to do is just uh, hit the start button and uh, wait for the actual scan to get finished. All right, now that the scan is successfully finished, if you're within reasonable range to your scanner, you should be able to see a status transferring. Uh, that means if we pull up our task manager, just for fun, you can see that Wi-Fi is actually pulling down at about 22, 10, 20, about megabits per second. That's the data making it onto your computer from the SD card. So you don't have to wait here. You can just pick up the actual scanner and hit start to uh, continue scanning. So uh, let me go and reposition the scanner here. Now that I'm repositioned, I can just hit the start button on the user interface again and just wait for the scanner to uh, start scanning again and uh, uh, wait for also the preview to be presented for me over here. You can see that there's another uh, message saying instead of transferring it's now processing meaning the uh, scene process in the background is already um, working on going through the data that it captured and going to be uh, showing you the little x-ray uh, view uh, right here you see the little blue dot telling you that the scanner is here and that it actually captured the room uh, or area that you were in to a certain degree it says it's now finished and your second scan that is already running and it's got about those three minutes to actually finish is being taken from position number two and once again once this is finished you will see that there will be another scan that will make it onto your computer and you can just uh, keep on going so with about a one scan lag you can expect this uh, to work All right, now that the second scan is finished, you can see that it once again says transferring, and you can proceed to actually pick up the scanner and move it to a, another location. And from here on in, it's pretty much, uh, as I call it, rinse and repeat. Same thing over and over again with a success or uh, unsuccessful uh, registration report that's going to be generated essentially by uh, you viewing it as it kind of builds on the left of the screen here. All right, and I've moved the scanner to location number three. We'll hit start and wait for the data to come in. In the meantime, I'm kind of keenly observing uh, my processing status over here because once it processes, it should try to register. And as long as it finds enough uh, commonality between where it was before or when it went afterwards, it should successfully place the scan. Uh, we had the door open, so it's actually uh, linking the hallway with the room that uh, got scanned initially. 
and now we're just waiting for scan number three to make it all the way down to the computer and finish. All right, so we have scan number three successfully finished. And I will not place the scanner anymore because this is just an instructional video and uh, all, we, all I wanted to establish is the, just the workflow of how to, uh, you know, set up your scanner and uh, have it successfully register scans to get. But it's just a matter of uh, continuing on your same uh, path down your hallways or rooms or whatever you're actually trying to scan always remembering that you need to have a little bit of overlap this diagram that's on the screen is use, pretty much uh, useful um, because uh, as long as you can kind of see the outlines of the rooms that you're scanning from each scan position you know that the software should be able to actually figure out the placement of the scan compared to the previous scan or any other scan so uh, this scan number uh, three should kind of load up over here, drop in, and once it's finished, mm, I will just hit the finish button on uh, in scene in this view, and uh, we will take the next steps to process the actual data. All right, we can see that the computer successfully linked scan number three with scan number two and scan number one all into one finished project i can hit finish uh, at this point uh, scene always recommends hey do you want to do a cloud to cloud registration to refine or essentially optimize your registration or if you're using targets you can do a target based registration i uh, I'm going to skip that for now. If you know that you did everything right, you can do cloud to cloud, of course, but I will skip that for now just to visualize what the data looks like. So I have a cluster with three scans in it. My initial uh, registration inaccuracy is about five millimeters over here overall. And you know, if I go into explore and kind of view my 3D scans, I should see a room with Scan number one here, scan number two, and scan number three. It looks like that's correct. If I go in here, it looks like uh, yeah, the doors were closed, but I don't have, I shouldn't have two floors here. I don't seem to have too many floors. It looks like it's okay. And there's a, there's a hallway, and it looks like there's another hallway right here. So that's awesome. So it looks like uh, the data is correct. Meaning, if I go back into registration now, I can tell the program to go ahead and optimize with cloud to cloud and without changing any of the default settings, we'll just hit register and verify. And if uh, all of these values mm, come down a little bit and give me a higher uh, reliability on my actual placement, which went down from 5 millimeters to 0.5 millimeters, I can say yes, I'm happy with the registration. And I'm um, kind of finished with the processing uh, besides the fact that I do not uh, I haven't applied any color yet as far as registration I'm now finished all right so if you have any further questions or comments please leave them below